The number one question we get asked at our store by our customers is what license do I need to ride an electric moped? Well, let's discuss two models, the 50cc and the 125cc equivalent and work out what license is required to ride either and if you qualify. Let's begin with mopeds that fall into the 50cc equivalent category. These are electric mopeds that are limited to 28 miles per hour. If you received your driver's license before the 1st of February 2001, you automatically have a full moped license to ride 50cc equivalents. This means you can ride your moped without L plates and carry passengers. If you completed your driving license after the 1st of February 2001 and you don't yet have your full bike license, you will be required to pass what is called a CBT or Compulsory Basic Training. A CBT generally takes half a day to a day to complete and is widely considered an easy training course to pass. Once you have completed your CBT course, you will be allowed to ride a 50cc equivalent moped with L plates. You will not, however, be allowed to ride with a passenger. If you intend to only ride 50cc electric mopeds, your CBT will last as long as your driver's license does. So it's fairly permanent and you will not be required to renew it every two years. You are also able to do your CBT with a provisional license. You can ride a 50cc electric equivalent from age 16 onward, making it perfect for new riders, students or younger riders. The license requirements for 125cc equivalent electric is different from the 50cc counterpart. What puts it in a 125cc equivalent is the ability to go above 28 miles per hour and a motor limited to 11 kilowatts. 125cc equivalents are generally fast enough to ride legally on any UK road, including motorways if you stick to the correct lane. Again, if you possess a full bike license, you will not be required to do any additional training to ride 125cc equivalent electric. If you possess only a driver's license, regardless of its age, you will still be required to complete the CBT. This will also need to be updated every two years and you will still need to ride with L plates and you will not be allowed to ride with a passenger. If you only have a provisional license and you are age 17 or older, you can also complete your CBT to ride 125cc equivalent mopeds. This is only different from the 50cc in that for the 50cc you only need to be 16. So there is only a year difference between the rules regarding provisional licenses. Okay, that's a wrap for 50cc and 125cc equivalent licenses. It's as simple as that. Booking your CBT is as easy as Googling your local suppliers or chatting to your electric moped dealer as they generally have strategic partnerships that'll allow you to get your CBT a little bit quicker, perhaps a bit cheaper, or in our case, alongside a training discount. Well, I hope that clears it up for you. It's the most commonly asked question we get down at the shop. Um, if you are trying to figure out what the best 50cc is for you or the best 125, subscribe and like our channel. We'll be doing videos on various 50cc and 125cc electric mopeds, discussing the pros and cons of each. Thanks for watching our video and have a safe ride. We'll catch you later. This has been Ecomoo. Cheers.